Hey golfers, it's Dave from Fit2 Golf. Today I'm doing a review of the Maltby KE4S irons. Two things prompted me to do this review now. One is that a viewer uh, expressed interest in, in buying a set of uh, these clubs for himself and asked if I'd be doing a review and so I thought I would kind of bump it up in the queue here. The other reason is I realized that um, even though I carry a set of these irons for part of the year, um, I hadn't done anything more than a just kind of a quick description of, of the clubs when I did my video and what's in in the winter bag. And just to kind of recap my conclusions there, I chose these because I wanted something that was a little bit more durable than my forge club for the late fall and early spring when I don't know what kind of conditions I'm going to encounter. I also wanted something that was a little bit stronger lofted so that even though the air is chillier, I don't need to think too much about which, which club to pull for what yardage. The KE4S is labeled an ultra game improvement iron, um, but I have to say that it doesn't really look it. It has uh, kind of a, a medium, uh, kind of average uh, thickness sole. One of the things that I really like about it as a club maker is it has weight ports, so it makes it really easy to do swing weighting, or even if you want to play around with seeing if you can influence the ball flight by, by moving around the weight ports. The back of the club uh, features a, a polymer insert that helps to reduce vibrations. And when looking down at the club, uh, this is where it really kind of looks like a game improvement club. It has kind of a thickish top line and a, and a moderate amount of offset. These clubs are strong lofted, but not excessively so. Uh, the seven iron that I tested for this review comes in at uh, 32 degrees aloft. For the purpose of this review, I tested the, the head with two shafts that I'm very familiar with. One is the Excalibur, which if you've seen my videos, you know that's what I have installed in my TE Forge clubs. And uh, that's a 75 gram regular flex graphite shaft. And then I also uh, use the Apollo Stepless Phantom, which is a lightweight steel shaft. Uh, I believe on cut it's 105 grams. The playing weight is somewhere around 90. And then these are the, the shafts that I have installed in my winter set of KE4Ss. Uh, I wanted something a little heavier so I could kind of feel the club head even if I was swinging with layers of clothes and would be kind of durable in terms of uh, playing in those conditions. Now as I put up the, the swings I can tell you about the, the feel of the club both uh, when I was hitting it at the range, but also what I've experienced on the course. This has a, a kind of an average sound, uh, of what you'd expect of, a, of an investment cast club. I wasn't expecting it to be overly soft. Um, it's advertised to be for the swinger who is more of a sweeper, and I would definitely say that that's the case. If, if you are someone who picks it clean or takes a shallow divot, this club will really perform well for you because of how low the center of gravity is on the face. In fact, if you take a look at the, um, the strike pattern, uh, you can see after hitting kind of dirty range balls, that pattern uh, where I hit the ball most often uh, was exactly uh, 0.725 inches from the bottom of the club in terms of the vertical center of gravity. Now, I'm not bragging, obviously, you can see from other uh, parts of the strike pattern that I, I missed the sweet spot also, but that's where you want to hit it to get maximum results. And when you do, you get a nice kind of piercing um, mid ball flight. Just to walk you through the, the numbers, I, this club performed uh, very similarly for me um, across both the shafts, but just to give you an idea of um, you know the, how a shaft can make a, a difference with the Excalibur. I was swinging at 83 miles an hour ball speed of 104, smash factor of 1.26. I was carrying it 143 on average with a launch angle of 18.5, and it was spinning at uh, about 7,100 RPMs. Pretty good for a strong lofted uh, seven iron. For the Apollo, the, the heavier steel shaft, not surprising. I swung it a little bit slower, 81 miles an hour, 102 ball speed, 1.27 smash factor, um, carried it at 142, a uh, little bit higher launch angle at 20.7, and a little bit lower spin uh, at 61.49. Uh, I noticed in the strike pattern I tended to hit it a little higher on the face um, with that shaft. 
So in terms of uh, summary and rating, uh, pros and cons, uh, I'm going to say there are a lot of pros to this club. It's easy to hit. I think it's a nice looking club. I personally like the, the exposed weight ports um, and uh, the functionality that, that they include. Um, this fits my swing. I tend to be a, kind of a, a shallow divot, um, picket clean kind of swinger, and, and this really works very well for me. The price is also uh, another advantage. This this comes in at under $25, and I think the weights are less than a dollar each, so you can play around uh, with, with different swing weights or ball flight, um, waiting to, to see what you can produce uh, fairly inexpensively. The cons, um, I'm, you know, I'm going to say that for me the cons are that there's a little more offset than I prefer. Uh, my, my typical ball flight is a, is a slight fade and uh, I have to kind of set up for a draw when I hit these because the, the offset does tend to uh, give me a, a more closed club face at, at impact. But that's really personal preference for, for, for many people who are looking for a, a ultra game improvement club they they probably you know want that offset to help them to square the face for me the top line is a little thick but again this is personal preference and given that this is an ultra game improvement club I really can't make too much of a big deal of that I, I think this club has a lot of forgiveness and would appeal to a wide range of, of golfers I'm gonna say you know probably double digit you know up into high handicap uh, you could play this club. It doesn't, you know, even if you're a lower handicap, it certainly it doesn't look like a game improvement club. So in terms of a, of a rating, I, I'm going to go uh, from, you know, if it's eagle to bogey, I'm going to give it a birdie. I highly recommend the club. So post your comments below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know if uh, you have hit this club head or, or own a set and what you think so that, you know, other people who are, who are looking into it and might come across this video can, uh, can read those comments. Uh, I hope you can get out there and play and stay positive.